why I am not going to black out the grill on my Hyundai Santa Cruz. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive MT. You know, I've been doing some mods on my new Santa Cruz, and one that I had seen out there and even thought about myself was blacking out the grill. Now, I can live with the grill the way that it is because it isn't chrome. It's actually pewter, which is okay with me. It's close to chrome, but it's not chrome. However, I did black out the badge on the front, the H, the emblem, as you can see right there. But as I mentioned, I have seen a lot of folks out there are actually blacking out the grill itself, you know, all across here, which I think looks awesome. But there's a couple of problems with it for me. One, taking off the grill to be able to paint it is a monumental feat. It doesn't just come off across here, much like the Tacoma does. It's one thing that's nice about the Tacoma. It has four little push pin things and I believe two screws, and then the whole grill just pulls right out. Very, very simple. Not so with the Hyundai Santa Cruz. You actually have to pull the whole front fascia, if you will, off. Doesn't look like an easy job to me. And even worse, it's not that it's a difficult job, it's that there's a lot of opportunity to break things. You know, there's a lot of little tabs and pins and things in there. And I just don't feel that doing it to black out the grill is worth the risk. Now, that's if you paint it. The other option is to plasti dip it or put some kind of a coating on it. And a lot of people, matter of fact, everybody that I've seen that's doing the black grill is doing it that way. They're actually putting a coating over it. Now, the problem with me for that, one, is it's not permanent. You know, if anything hits the front of it, that Plasti Dip is going to chip off. And then you're going to be able to see the pewter below it. So it'll be a black finish with a beaming pewter coming through. That doesn't do much for me. Now, you can touch it up, but, you know, if you've ever touched up paint, you really have to redo the whole thing or you can see it. That means you have to tape everything off to prevent overspray, and Plasti Dip does peel off, so it's not a big deal, I guess. If you got some on the hood or whatever, you could just peel it off, but that's the problem with it as well. It just peels off. Uh, painting it on the truck itself, uh, there are a lot of little nooks and crannies and things to get into, you know? And for me, that's not really an option either. And you have to worry more about overspray and where that paint is going to end up, like in your radiator back there, you know, all those little fins that keep your Hyundai Santa Cruz clean, or cool, rather. Not something that I want to mess with. Now, I'm interested in something else. It seems to me, I believe, there is another variant of this grill out there, a stock or OEM variant. That interests me, but again, you still have to pull the whole front of the truck off, but it might be worth it to do something like that. So I think that's really the only way that I would change out the grill. Because again, being pewter, it doesn't bother me so much as if it were chrome, like what the emblem used to be. So I think we're just going to live with it the way that it is now and add other mods and things. You can see the the black mirrors up there, they're actually a carbon fiber cap. Again, the painted emblem and then some other touches that I've done other places in the truck. We're gonna stick with that kind of a theme for now anyway. Leave a comment, let me know, particularly if you've gone with the black grill on your truck, did you Plasti Dip it and did you have any troubles with it? In other words, any rocks or anything that hit it that have chipped it off, and did you then have to touch it up? And how frequently does that happen? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma, and Rob Motive JT, all about Jeep Gladiators. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay creative out there. Bye.